Hallo YouTube, welkom terug bij alweer een nieuwe aflevering van mijn NBA carrière mode deel 5 vandaag. Dit keer niet vanaf de stream, ondanks dat daar uh, wel zo'n Twitch teken erin staat. Maar niet via de livestream nemen we dit op. En we gaan vandaag gaan we weer NBA spelen zoals je ziet. Antonio lead by four. Inside. Pass to Dorsey. And here's Gay, who's coming off a 13 point game against the Clippers. Just five on the clock. And that one's yes. good. Yes. And once he got oh, to the 10, next one he was surprised to find himself that wide open. <laughs> Very little resistance and the other bring much faster help than that. Aldridge against Wood. Here's Griffin. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Gay. And here we go. Fast break. Murray's got it. And Huey got the basket on the assist Boom. by Murray. Easy point. He's got a second bucket tonight. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Thank you, Detroit. Here's Wood. Got it. Right. For his fourth field goal. That's yummy. Because Robert's Joe has lost. We've got 123 left to play in the first quarter. And as he gets older, we've seen Derrick Rose coming out of his shell a bit more. Early in his career, he was wary of strangers oh, wow. in the media. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Oh, yeah, coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he goes to see. And way to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Have a look at the, at the basket, guys. Still shaking. <laughs> Down low, here's Corrosion and the dunk by Is it the dunk contest or something? We want to talk about high volume scores. Just look at what DeRozan's doing tonight. He's been on a lot of dunks on this game in the same point of time. Oh, here's Griffin. He had 25 points in the win against Charlotte. Really nice job down low. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. Yeah, so far, both teams have been outstanding at the offensive end. Not a lot of game left to play. Gay trying to break free. Murray, good. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. And the Spurs pushing it up now. Junior with the ball. And he gets contact and call. the whistle on the shot. Shooting Two shots call. coming up. And Detroit gets called for the foul. Oh. Oh, Sam, help, Neus. Gaan spelen. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Free throw good, Junior. So both teams making some changes here. Good on both. Well, his free throw shooting is something they never need to worry about. He doesn't even know how to go to a pro street. Brown feeling out of it. To the inside. Out left to the wing. Here's McCray. And it's good off the back rim and in. This is what you get from Griffin. Very willing to give it up to his open team. Uh, uh, uh. And so it's the San Antonio Spurs. On the floor for San Antonio, Gay and Aldridge are up front. Junior's out there with DeJounte Murray. And it's DeRozan in the three spot. And, and what a tremendous career for LaMarcus Aldridge. I mean, so many double doubles. A rim protector, makes plays for so, the man. The list of goals. The score of He knew so. what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. And out of bounds, the Pistons will take it. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the cell phone. Hey, Kevin. Well, Blake Griffin had two more knee surgeries last season. Pistons coach Dwayne Casey said that the year before, 
They rode him like a cheap horse, in Casey's words, to make the playoffs. Griffin acknowledged his load may need managing down the road, saying, I'm a believer in science. I'm going to listen to them and let them lead the way. Guys? Smart perspective. David, thank you. Here's Junior. And Lakers sends it back. Oh, 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 from Maker to start for the shoot. Here's McKinley. That one, no good. They have been bored and dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Murray, shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And really the defense foul him. And so Murray nails both of them. Here's Rose. He's coming off the 19-point game against Charlotte. Pass to Kennard. Here's Wood. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. To the middle. Here's to Rosen. Oh, oh he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Aldridge, good. They Kevin, they dialed up their activity this quarter. We're seeing them convert a lot of those second chance opportunities. 43 seconds left here in the second. Here's McKinley. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. McKinley's got eight points. Rose will generate points in any situation. Here he does it by dunking a wide open lane. Murray, the pass to all. He gets it to Junior. But Trey, rebounded by Maker. This one's trailed by 12. Now here's Rose. He's currently averaging more than 26 points a game. Such a force. Shoots. The shot misses. Here's talk about the specific qualities oh, you look for in those superstars that can catapult a team to grow. It's a great question, Kevin. Talent really isn't enough. You know, whether you lead vocally or by example, uh, the agenda has to be winning. And your best players wow. will define who your team is going to be. That's so the cool. franchise so caliber player is a much well, from my opinion, needed asset. They got okay. out out there with McCray. Then there's me. Uh, and it's Jim Boyd. Another dude. It's a five and a four for the Pistons. Well, they're getting stops, and they're attacking on the offensive end. Yeah, no, no, that's how you monitor combat. They're not all the way back. Mills dishes to Jim. Good job. 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 Miles got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Junior. Number three off target. He's got to be disappointed with his performance, but it'll be easy to swallow if they keep the lead. Here's McCray, covered by Mills. Tips it. Great position. Uh, oh, no. Oh, how about the death touch? Right there, guys. He just got that ball back up and in. Just a fingertip touch on the ball. Junior the pass to Brown. He ain't the ball. Two boy will be fifth, and it's Johnson picking him up. Brown outside. The pass to McCray. And that won't go, missing the go ahead bucket. Junior fires from way outside. Oh my goodness. He gets it up. With my third open. the close in the fourth. And it's Mills with the ball for San Antonio. 
17 points was their biggest margin on the court right now for the Spurs. Hitting and Aldridge are up front. Junior's out there with Mills, and it's DeRozan in at the three. On the jam, Ruby Gay. And when Gay is nearby, you have to be aware of his vertical. He really rocks the rims on these teams. Stick it on. Back to Brown. Outside Griffin. And no good that time. Aldridge with some nice deep. Junior with it. Oh, come on, it was nice. He hasn't chipped in with many points tonight. It's a good thing he has the guys around him to carry the weight. There's the wood. Brown outside. Pistons passing it around. Six on the shot clock. Yes, it's a good on. Can't tie it up because that one's no good. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Oh, my God. Now, Junior to the inside. Here's Aldrich. And the bucket is good. Thank you. Point play chance here for him. That's their third straight make off an assist. For the Pistons, Hawkeye. Okay. A bit under three and a half minutes of pass here in the fourth. Wooden's against Murray. Here's Wood. And that will be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Son Lamarcus Alvin. He drops the first one. That gives one the lead. Griffin stripped in from Rick Kuhn. Second one is good. From both at the line. It's a two point. Up over 60. And you're only going to get it that high when you're taking good. Sucky pass. And you want to take big Ooh. shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Coach trusts him to make winning plays down the stretch. Because right. he's shown that ability. Time and time and time again. Please, Aldrich, stop He's making those fouls. Better give Griffin credit. He's outstanding, of course, in addition to get the defense to whack. So he gets them both, and it's a two point ball. The only guy to put on the time. He knows he's not going to miss it. And that's a display of DeRozan's athletic ability, making his presence felt on offense. 104 left in the fourth. Murray against Rose. Pass to Griffin. Aldrich! Stop! Weird! First quarter of play, we're about three minutes in. Now that I'm going to be able to get back. 
left here in the first quarter. Passes it to Rivers. And some nice passing there by Houston. The pass to Clemens. From downtown. And Purple pulls it down. Just on the clock. And a kind roll that time off. Come on. Seconds left now here in the second. Now here's Mills. Defense is right there, and he uses the glass on the way. Mills has got his first two points. Here's Cutters. 
the stats on him. He's averaging nine points a game. Hey! Ow! Wow! And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent. At the free throw. And so it's Houston. A hit bump for DeJounte Murray. And a change for the Rockets. Green's checked in. <laughs> Great talkers over the years, trash talkers on the floor in this league. Do you think they do it more to get themselves going, Greg, or do they do it for the purpose of getting under their opponent's skin? Kevin, that's a great question. And believe it or not, um, you see both. I've seen guys who do it to get under your skin, but I've also seen guys that do it for their own benefit. That's how they derive their confidence. And so, it's about you figuring out what works for you. I've seen some guys they don't say snap. They don't they don't say a word during the course of the game, but they will cut your heart out. So it's just about what fits your personality in terms of making you play your best. Well, I'm glad you don't trash talk here on 2K, Greg. I'll tell you that. No, we don't do that. <laughs> so on the floor for Houston. That's Brooklyn Hart and the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. Green is out there with Jordan, and it's Tucker in at the five spot. They've been a better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yes, boy. That's for sure, but unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. That's not three. That's not three. That's not three. This is it to Kier. Three-pointer. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got his eighth assist here tonight. And there's no reason to lay off Carroll now. I mean, he's a threat to shoot off the pass. Johnson outside. Goes back up. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. There's a minute left in the third. And the call the edge! No! Foul of the game. Spurs on defense. It's a 14 point game. The pass to Clemens. A three pointer, no good. San Antonio's gone 2 of 5 with a three point shot since coming out of the break. And that one is good, Junior. Uh, from beyond here in the second. Exactly what the doctor ordered. Those three point bombs will erase the deficit quickly if they can keep it up. That's the net one more. Kicks to green. With the floater. The shot missing. Aldridge with some nice deep. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Mills passes to Burke. Now, here's Junior, guarded by McLemore. Five to shoot. Back to Pirtle. Boom. Good on the shot. Easy, easy. The guy has a tail. Deep inside, the defense is cooked. Can't allow him to get comfortable from there. And so it's Houston in control with a nine-point lead to win the quarter. They've done a lot of great work from long range. Right back after this break. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with his feet. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also a kind of a good shot of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just uh, great harmony on all sides. And thanks for joining us again, folks. 2K Sports Broadcasting here on MLK Day, bringing you the NBA. All right now, a chance to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action. All the teams have been ready to go. On the court right now for the Spurs. Junior's out there with Mills. And it's DeRozan. And there's LaMarcus Aldridge. And it's Johnson in at the four-man position. Nick Lamar with the ball. Has to green. 
over Mills. And it's Green, Michigan. They're going to have to make a pretty big comeback here. I think it's going to be a mistake to let the shot clock get into 10 seconds from here on out. McLemore with the ball. Johnson on him. Jeff Green on the wing. And it's blocked. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Now here's Mills. He's guarded close. Outside Aldridge. Junior kicks to Aldridge. Here's Junior. They get it again. Johnson. And the way it was keep this. His hard work on the last, last second of the game really so. just has given them more opportunities. That's like Gary said, who's keep it? Timeout call for Rodgers. And in the fourth quarter. 132 left in the fourth quarter. Miles passes to Dorosha. Now, here's Lyons. Pass to Junior. Offensive struggles continue, missing again. He can't look out to the Yehudas as Peter. He got a chance to check out on the Yehudas. They got a chance to brief him with the head of the trainer for San Antonio. The guys have said it is a broken leg. You can well, imagine how much pain he's in this game. And we'll see so that's it for him today. today. From how it appears, he could be out for a considerable amount of time. What a tough break. Kevin? David, thanks for the great update, guys. It doesn't sound good. No, if that report is accurate, he's going to be spending a lot of time in rehab and on the sideline. And in the training room, guys. I mean, that is not going to be an easy injury to bounce back from. Uh, okay. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for Houston. And Westbrook throws it down. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Junior, the pass to Lyons. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. That's not the way for poking. Al Harden. So slick, man. So we see Houston taking the W here. A resounding victory for them. And Greg and Enemy Territory no one. That's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA yeah. presented by 2K Sports. Don't go we'll see you next time. Uh, Have a great evening. 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 Parker comes in for Bogdanovich. Uh, and Kevin is checked in for Harrison Barnes. And it's Joseph in for Bogdanovich. But three from Joseph. He doesn't hit that one. And the Spurs going the other way now. This game against Sacramento is the first time they've met this season. And they won the season series against this club last year. But, you know, then again, so did a lot of other teams. Fox passes to Holmes. Top the key baseball. Fox looking it over. Here's the floor. He lays it in. Fox has got his second basket of the night. And, and Fox started to show you his abilities inside. He has quick instincts, which I think helps him when he's down low. Now, here's Junior. He's covered by Joseph. The Spurs no, shooting their first five shot to the night here. They throw good, Junior. And both free throws good 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 for Junior. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. That's helpful. Now, Fox. He's coming off a 16 point game against Portland. 
Walker outside. Down low. Just find the shoot. Holmes, good. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. Now, here's Mills. He's usually able to provide some lift to his team. Uh, Takes six points a game. There's all for Sacramento. The last game are off to the trailblazers. Inside. And Holmes throws it down. That's what you get from a bat down. baseball, making the next pass. Just second between the shot clock and game clock. Mills with it. Pass to Junior. Pulls up. You can see they were well prepared defensively coming into this one. Yes, what they do, they take away the things that teams like to do offensively. Also, keeping them out of sync. On the court for the Kings as the second quarter gets underway. They've got Pitt Bazemore, right out there with Giants. Then it's Corey Joseph, and it's Parker in at the three. Sacramento leading by eight. To the wing right side. And here's Joseph for three. And it's the Marcus with the rebound. And uh, San Antonio shooting a low, low 30% right now on the offensive performance. To the inside, Junior. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Credit the assist on that one. Cutting his teeth in the Spurs system, Forbes has improved at keeping his eyes up and finding the open band. Joseph, the pass to Parker. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. A floater and fingers the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, oh, shot misses. Uh, He'll be shooting two. And the foul goes against San Antonio. Like that. A big time effort for De'Aaron Fox. Energy for Sacramento. He finishes with the nine. Need to finish the roster. Thanks, Kevin. Well, okay, David, much appreciated. And now it's time for halftime. So, holy. the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. Here's cut in for Lonnie Walker. We've got DeRozan. Trey Lyles out there with Lamarcus Aldridge. Then it's Junior. And it's Murray in at the point. That's the San Antonio Fox. They got that one. DeRozan's got four points Eight. now in the quarter. Sometimes DeMar beats you with his strength and speed. Other times, he beats you with a soft touch. Barnes outside. Now the pass to Bogdanovich. Here he's from uh, three point Fuck right. you! Make a defensive yeah, breakdown. By 19. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Junior kicks to Lyles. Shoots on the Fox. Rebound by the wow. Cubs. Fox has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area yeah. where they foul. Take my ball into the field. The importance of the three-point shot is never greater than right now. And in your eyes, there are some players who are just absolutely dead, solid, perfect from distance. No doubt about it. And, and you know, there's three guys to me, though, that kind of separate themselves uh, 
and it's one because you have to honor their ability equally off the dribble from three and in attacking the paint. Steph Curry, James Harden, and Damian Lillard. Those three guys can all hit pull-ups and step backs from range off the dribble. Uh, they all got great vision, you know, so they can build, take advantage build, build, of defenses build, that get build. caught low and too much. That? And then they also are terrific at the, at the paint. They get into the free throw line. So those are the three guys I think that create the most havoc. Uh, when you start start talking about uh, the three point line. people, actually, drinks in the back to all of what I've been about this from Fox there. Just a great attitude. He really excels at driving inside and kind of just oh. bouncing off defenders. Pass to Junior. Thank you. It's a very good look and converts. Six points for Junior. That's the pass you want. Orchestrating the offense, creating for others. One eleven left to play in the third. Here's Bailey. Six points for him. Shot clock at five. Holmes passes to Bailey. Three pointers off the mark. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that's in and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Really like to work inside from Hurdle, using his body well to draw the cut. <laughs> a little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. And here's Junior. Greg, we're seeing the game evolve. We're seeing more and more big men display the perimeter skills. Do you like that? That was just my exercise thing. So, when all played out, it's still like a little bit of a condensed air. I think the game has kind of evolved on from the impact that the bigs had on, on the interior, but not the impact that they're having on the game. It, 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 the reality is the game just doesn't stand still. And now as a big, you've got to have far more yeah, time. Time. you got to be able to play in space. And, and as a fan, I just find the game to be more appealing to watch with the freedom of movement, the flow, uh, and, and more the skill set being put on display. I agree. On the court right now for the Kings, we got Bogdanovich. Jabari Parker is up there with Bagley, and it's Alex Lynn, and it's Bagalitza in the two spot. Fox, he's checked in for Sacramento. And the dunk is Bagalitza. Instinctive to Fox there, looking to be a ball mover, a facilitator, and that's one reason why his team is playing well. Here's Murray. That shot, no good. Indeed by Bogdanovich. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Here's Bagley. Good oh, nice, nice assist from Fox. Fox has got three assists tonight. That's the kind of toughness Bagley needs to show on every possession. Shake off the contact and finish through it. Here's Junior. And contact. And so Greg, we are in an era of positionless basketball. We know the All-Star game now has a two-back court, three-front court position as opposed to two guards, two forwards, in a center when you're voting. Should they get rid of those designations in time? And again, all around. Like you could make a strong case for that. Did you go back to last season and you felt Jimmy Butler got robbed of the starting spot? Huh? Uh, yes. Think he, 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 listen, this is the fans' vote. Why not the five top vote getters? I don't care if they're four guards. If the five players that the fans want to see the most play a certain position, then so be it. You know, they're not going to play all 48 minutes. You're still going to have you know, seven other spots to kind of balance out the roster. I say just let the fans tell me the five they want to see and let's go play. Rich finds Murray. And here's Junior. Here's Murray. And the call on the shot sends it to the line. The first one falls. A lot of big decisions have fallen on Adam Silver's shoulders, the commissioner of the NBA. And Greg, I think you and I agree by all accounts, he has succeeded with flying colors. 
I mean, wouldn't you agree? No doubt about it. I mean, I, I don't know that you could have had a better person for the time. Uh, Adam Silver is to be commended, but I think also appreciated, not just from the players and the owners, but I think our fans should also appreciate who he is as a person. I, I, I've often said that commissioners typically uh, work for the owners. He's the one commissioner, no matter the sport, that I've always felt like was a partner of the players as well. And as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout, big time dominance. And there you go, bad shot selection. As a Gowdy win for Sacramento. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, the one that Thank you. most will try to forget. And so that moves their record to 11 wins on the year. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. Hello. Al Brewer, playing up top. Shot clock at six. The Kings need to get off a shot here. Brewer's shot is off. Now, here's Junior, D right on him. And on my spot table. <laughs> Junior, and he knocks down the first one. And both uh, free throws, good for uh, Junior. I've walked with my guys, that's right. Shot and game clock separated by five. And here's Farrell, he'll bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. They have a 19 point lead. Dat is het enige wat ik kan doen, mijn eigen cijfers zo hoog mogelijk maken. Want het, ja. 15 seconds left to play here in the fourth. In out of bounds, the San Antonio Games possession. Unforced errors. These are the kinds of things that break momentum. So it's the Spurs now. Now, here's Junior. That one's not going to go. And so it's. We staan op dit moment samen met vier punten voor. Dus dat is al. Uh, Here's the two drop. And he's hit the right. Sexton's got his second bucket of the night. How about the soft touch on the floater from Powell and Sexton? You must have. Ah, fuck off! That's an awful guy. And it's super hard. I think I need to have a pest, hè? To retain possession here. Give a look now for San Antonio. Luck of Brittles check in for Lyles. Miss Mills in for DeJounte Murray. We're about three minutes into this first quarter. 13. Here's Zizic. He's coming off a 10 point game against Houston. Five on the clock. Makes him. No luck that time on the shot, but Murray put them on top. Over to the wing. Here's Junior. Oh, that do your bad shots like You mean to be taking the game with the Dozen? Defense, come on. Oh, my God. Pass to Pirtle. To Rosen in the corner. Nice ball from the vice in Antonio. And here's Mills from the arc. Yes. Come on, Mills. And they think that. Oh, he's looking for the green. The first. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, I had a chance to talk with head coach J.B. Bickerstaff. And for Marcus Aldridge, the first challenge is always to shoot. Like the coach said he can handle like a guard to create space. And then oh, the what? release point makes the shot impossible to contest. No, he no. needs some luck to slow him down tonight. Kevin? Thank you, David. Mario Rosa on the wing. Second chance effort, shooting foul, and as the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. So how cool is it that Jakob Pertl makes NBA history as the first ever Austrian-born player in the league? Doesn't matter what else he does in his career, he'll always have that distinction. That's cool. Looking at who's out there now for the Spurs. Someone has just checked in, and it's Johnson in for DeMar DeRozan. We've got 33 seconds left to play in the first. 
Windler shines on. I still can't believe that one didn't fall. Uh, and here's Mills, currently averaging almost six points a game. You no! Know, you're missing. The yeah, fuck nay. Especially against soft defense. From outside, off the mark. In transition, here comes San Antonio. Misses the lead. Got to credit the defense. They found the this game for the Cavaliers, it was a loss to the Rockets. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, the Rockets are going to man the backcourt. And it's Drummond in its center, walking down the middle. To the middle, looking for Sexton, he gets it there. He yes. has the score. Sexton's got six in the quarter. Well, Sexton's showing that he's more than just a jump shooter. Very comfortable on the interior against size. Brings uh, uh, the D. Uh, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. The Spurs have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. First one falls to And so Murray nails both of them. Up, and they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. 55 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Porter passes to Bell for Murray. No good from Bell. More good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Michaels against Bell. Junior with it. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Misses off the left eye. Oh, yeah, I got that. He's the the ball. He'll bring it up for the Cavaliers. Trailing by two. And the shot by Sexton, no good. Murray outside. He dishes it to me. A three. Yes, come on. Oh, yes. Sasha Peter, come on. on a big time roll. Ooh. And that'll do it. Come on. Sasha Peter. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. A fantastic. San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. Summonich has checked in. Johnson comes in for DeMar DeRozan. Junior's checked in for Walker. Miss Mills is oh, for Dante Adams comes in for that. Sexton. We've got Trey Lyles. Junior's out there with Mills. And it's Johnson. And it's Zamanich in at the fourth. That's the San Antonio five. And Mills in the NBA for over a decade now, GA, but he still has incredible speed. It's key to his game. Oh, what the fuck? fuck? What's it got on the do? How did he do that? In the half court, though, he does a great job of creating looks for himself. Accelerates off the screen. Can oh, my God. The defender in the when he turns it on. Here's Mills. And he comes up with the deuce. Mills has got six points in the quarter. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots. Playing smart with the lead. Now, here's Junior. Tight defense on. I'm the fucking shot, bro. Cavaliers trail by 15. And foul on the shot. So move it, Come on. Come on. No pressure of the the tegenstander and nog helemaal geen schieters. The upside is huge. This first step with the ball is huge. It's incredible. 
get burst by defenders like Terra waiting at a bus stop. Once he matures, he is going to be a handful to deal with. Hudson Hughes looked just a step slow all over the game, but his team is terrific. The rest of the team, however, struggling. Miles kicks to Johnson. Played in with the last two teams. Johnson's got seven points in the game. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete <laughs> And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Well, but still. On the court for Cleveland, get. Garland and Sexton man the back row. Bell is out there with Horton. And it's Drummond in at the five down low. Hey, that's Drummond. Throwback center who does almost all of his damage inside. Johnson outside. From deep three point range, yes. sinks it. What range from outside? Wow. Johnson's got 10 points in just the second hit. Greg, who are your favorite players to watch in the NBA? Ooh, boy, that, that's a tough one. You know, you, you, you gotta like the guys that have, have changed the game in some regards, right? Steph, KD, and Giannis. Uh, those are the guys that are just doing things that don't seem normal. True. Uh, then others who remind you uh, of past greatness, you know, Jason Taylor, uh, or Kobe, or maybe an Anthony Davis with the key. Uh, those are guys that I love. And, and uh, the other guy, listen, LeBron James. I, I could watch him play basketball every day. You know, to do what he's done at this stage of his career, I just think it's incredible. And Rico Dean is in great shape. Three on all three. Got the ball. The steal. Yes. It's just way too easy, guys. The Cavaliers trail by 12. Time out call. Yes. Ray, compared to you. times when you played as an NBA player with a lot more contact and what was let go on the floor, to what we're seeing now, and there seem to be a lot of whistle, a lot of stuff that you play. I mean, there's no doubt about it. You can do it. Like me. Yeah, it's just one, three, half, and half. Point is in the back. <laughs> For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And the first one at the line is good. Kevin Porter's checked in for the Cavaliers. Garland comes in for his And both free throws, good for Junior. Just solid. Really, one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Stood on the wing, DeRozan defending, it is good. Bell's got four points now in the quarter. Well, nice job by Colin Sexton to find the open man. You want to see court awareness from the young gun. Pass up to Junior. Here's Aldridge. And that's good. A nice job in the first half as they put up two in the second half. And I love how Aldridge uses his size to oh, hold his own no. against defenders and just routinely scores up over the top. They get it back. Yeah, we've seen him just tear after the rebounds tonight. No fear. You have to love that effort. Here's the pass to George. 129 left to play in the final quarter. Miles. The Cavaliers oh. are in. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky right there for the deep. And guys, oh, oh, what oh. we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for the Spurs. Starting five must have been happy to get so much help from the reserves in this game. And they not only lighten the load, the subs did nothing less than guarantee a win. And they yeah. took charge when they got it and notching their ninth win overall. Look, look. And so they'll yes! The uh, no! The series, a team uh, that I got the team see twice. Yeah, they're yeah, certainly yeah. happy to start it off with a win. Alan Sexton has got blinded speed, so when he puts the ball on the deck, the defense is going to be in a bind. 
and Sexton drops them both. 55 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. I have four. Oh, the officials are all over that one. First free throw is good. And both free throws are good for Jimmy. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Sexton. The teardrop falls in. What's the value of it? It's really the about the ball smart shots job. because when he does, you can see he's got the ability to catch fire. On the wing to Rosen. Murray outside. It's deflected. This should have like you for plumbers, Dino. Sexton. On the wing, Porter. At three off the mark. San Antonio with the ball. The clock now can just run out oh, for the Spurs. Ah, Spurs. Now Murray. Let's just hear the F-Town stuff I think in our control. Hey, oh, so we see Antonio. He was always taking this one. Some good competition with all yeah, the time. Yeah. I ain't doing it. You stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, yeah. It's the first step to becoming a good oh, team is your ability. ability to win at home. And they sure. really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldrich, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. Oh, we're mid hey, the Phoenix. You know, we've got to a point now where oh, we start talking about people starting to see. I'll do a bad shot. We just love the top sports at this point, especially when it comes to the most prestigious. Is that not normal that we don't have to do it? To do? No, it's not normal. It's 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 normal. Well, this is something he's working on. A good natural leader from the point guard position wants to help out by becoming a better facilitator. The Spurs have gone two for three at the foul line in this game. And Johnson, no good on that one. Suns have gotten six of them and shots to go down so far. Pretty nice shooting. He gets the on. This is why the Johnson. For Booker are loving him. He keeps no. working on his ability to no. find the no. open team. Johnson of Johnson. The Suns making a change here. Carter's checked in. The Suns shooting their third free throw shot of the game. If bring the numbers on the season when you look at their free throw attempts right around 78%. Picks it up, Johnson. Pass to Purdy. Back to Johnson. Shot from free throw range. It's hauled in by the Suns. In this matchup with the Spurs, it's their first meeting of the season. And they dropped the season series to these guys a year ago. Not their proudest moment. And it's Baines in the corner. Off the mark there with the three point shot. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Out of bounds, Phoenix will take this. Why is he done this so good? Phoenix leading by five. Phoenix don't cut the best of picks. There's 48 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Carter looking around. Looks one up. In the dunk by Payne. The defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little bit. The job to recognize the no, opportunity. No, no, no. Very solid offense. Okay. Uh, Here's Mills. Doesn't go that time. What the ball? Keep rolling here, following the win against Memphis. And winning that game the way they did would be incredible. Fourth quarter comeback couldn't have left them feeling any better. Now Mills and points last game out. And cool. the that yeah. time is it falls. Last shot is from Mills from Patty, but then he generally makes great choices. And that's why he's in the rotation. And so it's Phoenix. So so the 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 close with a seven point lead. Uh, there was only net. 
And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And from what we've seen, guys, from Phoenix, what do you guys see? In that first period, they showed a willingness to make the extra pass. So much unselfish play out there. The coaching staff has to be thrilled with that. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. On the court right now for the Spurs. Hey. They've got Junior. Brutal is out there with Johnson. And it's Lamont. Oh, he's out with Lamont. He's checked in for Frank Kaminsky. Triple. Suns lean by nine. Carter outside. High arcing shot. And you got to give appreciation to how Hurdle punishes shooters. A dynamite shot block. Ah, Hadari in Dan. And so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he laid straight up and in. Now here's Payne. He's tightly guarded. Spurs trail by nine. Pass to Samanich. Spurs working the ball around now. Johnson left side. Here's Pirtle. And he banks in the lane. Yeah, he will his first points of the night. And Pirtle has a stick with it mentality on the offensive glass. Just throwing himself against the board. Passes it to Baines. Johnson with it. Launches it. Can't hit that one. I'm not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Down low. Booker. That's in. Coming off an assist from the Rubio. Booker's got 17. Guys, he can't miss, I swear. He was trying to miss that. He did not miss. That means he can't miss. Charge at eight with a four and the five. Rubio and Booker, they're the backcourt, and it's oh, over yeah, at the point. So that's the right number four for the Suns. And that solid play in the paint continues here, guys. Booker with nothing around. Booker's got seven now in this quarter. Seems like he's got more feel tonight. Like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. And Murray, here we go. It's in and good for his sixth field goal in 10 attempts. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. Rubio dishes to Booker. And there's the pass to Aiton. Back to Booker. Whistle blows, but it is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Devin Booker is such a natural and gifted scorer, even when he gets hit on that play, he stays in control with that shot. He's catching up on the changes for Phoenix. Aaron Baines is checked in for DeAndre. Frank Kaminsky comes in for Sharch. Johnson is checked in for Uber. And it's Payne in for Ricky Rubio. And a wide open look for Junior. He hits Thank the you. back iron and sinks the Thank shot. You. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist really the key to that entire sequence. Kaminsky gets the Baines. No good from outside. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the San Antonio Spurs. He can look forward to the Rockets Arena after this matchup to take on Houston. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. Carter, he's checked in for the Suns. The Spurs shoot their seventh free throw attempt here. Really a great free throw shooter. It's unfortunate Mills gets to the line infrequently, partly because of the minutes. Pass to Baines. Now Johnson. He's working for Kaminsky and finds him. And again, it's the Suns missing. For San Antonio, they've gone 7 of 11, a lucky field goal percentage here in the third. Boom! And all of a sudden, Boom. things finally coming together. For Three for the third. It's still large, but now, not in the third. Well, the run simply has given them yeah. a chance. Great work on both ends. They've got to now ratchet up a notch. Out to Carter. Back to Payne. Rocket six. The Suns need to get a shot 
Introduce the Elam ending a target score, Greg, to end the game and instead of running out the clock. Did you like yes. that? Yes. Come on. That's no major. question. It's being looked at, and maybe for overtimes or, or tournament games. You know, Adam, not shy about just scoring new ideas. And I got to be honest, going into the All Star game, I wasn't a fan of the proposed changes. Me too. But once you saw it all play out, I have to say I was in attention. And I applaud the commissioner. Good point. On the court for San Antonio. Junior's out there with DeJounte Murray. Then it's Trey White. Then there's Lamarcus Aldridge. And it's DeRozan in its small four. Well, that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense, a quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. A minute 50 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Suns leading by 21. Kicks to Carter. Pass to Diallo. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. Carter outside. Another three for Phoenix. Fuck up. Who now? The Suns look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. What the hell? Coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Don't say bottom you, man. Murray, the pass to Junior. Hits some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. <laughs> Junior's got 11 points here in just the second half. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for Phoenix. And this was one that never really was a doubt, but an all-around dominant performance. Can you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game? Yeah, there was a sense of that in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And it will pass their win total up to 12 on the season. And this is a great way for them to kick off this season series. Two Hold more on. games ahead, and they've taken the mental advantage with this win tonight. And what a tremendous so standout performance it was for Devin Booker. Knows how to figure it up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. Nobody that they assigned to him could really get a handle on him. Charge passes to Okobo. Six to shoot. Puts it up from 15. That one misses. And San Antonio will go the other way with it. Passes it to Junior. There's the dish to Murray. And then Murray with the chair. Okay, <laughs> at this point, they're just trying to get back and see. Do you want to play a good brand of basketball? The consistency definitely is a, a key to some of the playoff performing teams. And tonight they just did not find it in this contest. Here is a Kobo. So it's the Suns who are easily hit. Yeah, it's Damian. He's a huge guy. He's a huge Just what a clinical performance they put on. I know their fans appreciated it. And we saw at that time just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Alden. This is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA. Presented by 2K Sports. See you next time. Thank you. Zo, dat was het dus weer voor deze aflevering. Aflevering nummer 5 van de, de NBA 2K21. Het was niet zo'n goede aflevering, moet ik eerlijk zeggen. 1 van de 5 gewonnen. Dat is geen uh, stats voor de uh, playoff uh, team. We gaan eventjes weer wat VC points halen. Dat was weer uh, nodig. Dat had ik uh, midden in de, de 5 game reeks uh, kreeg ik een berichtje daarvoor. Die is denk ik niet verder in het uh, in de, komt dat in de video verder voor. Dus dat je, heb je nog niet kunnen zien. Maar dat ga ik dus nu eventjes ophalen. En dan ga ik nog eventjes wat 
puntjes probeer te verbeteren wat het kan, wat ik kan nog verbeteren. En dan uh, gaan we een einde maken aan uh, ja, deze uh, aflevering. Hier zijn we. Oké, okay, we hebben gevonden hier. Collect ik uh, de endorsement uh, VC points. Even kijken hoeveel dat er zijn. Ja, dankjewel. Linksonder zie je dat in beeld. 1200 puntjes. Dat is altijd goed meegenomen. Dan gaan we naar de progression toe. Met die 1200 extra punten. Post moves. Misschien even goed omhoog brengen. Ik kan net niet dat dit doen, maar dit gaat nog wel. Dit gaat nog net niet. Oh, dit gaat wel. Dus dit is de maximaal wat ik kan doen. Dus dat is ook weer omhoog gesteld. En dan maak ik nu echt een eind aan deze video. Ik hoop dat je het leuk vond. Geef me een duimpje. Abonneer op het kanaal. Check ook mijn Twitch kanaal. Ronald1234567819. Waar ik binnenkort veel livestreams ga doen met ook FIFA21. En ik zie je graag terug bij een nieuw videootje. Adios.